Have you ever wondered why we have different blood types and how it can significantly impact medical procedures? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey into the world of blood types. This isn't just a matter of curiosity, it's a crucial part of understanding how our bodies work, particularly in the realms of transfusion tissue and organ transplantation. Picture this. Four main characters, A, B, A, B, and O, each with their unique traits, interacting in a complex dance of compatibility and conflict. Add to this the concept of RH factor, an additional layer of intrigue that further complicates these relationships. This isn't just a biological puzzle, it's a life-saving knowledge. Imagine being in a situation where you need to make a quick decision about a blood transfusion or organ transplant. Understanding blood types could literally mean the difference between life and death. As we delve deeper, prepare to unravel the mystery of blood types and their crucial role in medicine. Imagine our blood types as the alphabet of life, where A, B, A, B, and O are the letters. There's a remarkable story coursing through our veins written in the language of A, B, A, B, and O. These letters represent the four primary blood types, each with its unique blend of antigens, the substances that our immune system recognizes as either friendly or hostile. Let's start with blood type A. This type has A antigens on the red blood cells and anti-B antibodies in the plasma. This means it recognizes B antigens as foreign and will attack if they're detected. Now flip the story for blood type B. It's like a mirror image of A with B antigens on the cells and anti-A antibodies standing guard in the plasma. Then we have AB, the universal recipient. This blood type is a diplomatic blend of both with A and B antigens on the cells and no antibodies in the plasma. It's like a social butterfly, getting along with everyone. Lastly, we have blood type O, the universal donor. It's the introverted counterpart to AB, with no antigens on its cells but both anti-A and anti-B antibodies in the plasma. These differences exist because of the genetic lottery we all participate in at conception. Our blood type is inherited from our parents, combining their genetic codes in unique ways. Now let's talk proportions. If we were to gather 100 people from around the globe, around 42 would have type O blood, making it the most common. 29 might have type A, 22 would have type B, and the remaining 7 would be type AB, the rarest of the bunch. As diverse as the human race is, so is our blood. But what does this diversity mean when it comes to medical procedures? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the compatibility conundrum in the next scene. We'll explore how these blood types interact, and why it's so crucial in transfusions and transplants. It's a fascinating tale of life, science, and the human body, all told through the language of A, B, A, B, and O. In the world of medicine, not all blood types are compatible. But why is that so? Now that's a question that sounds like a riddle, but it's actually grounded in biology and genetics. Let's imagine blood types as a group of friends at a party. Some mingle freely with everyone while others prefer to stick to their own kind. In this metaphor, the mingling or sticking is determined by something called antigens, the substances that can trigger an immune response. Blood types A and B each have their own specific antigens. Type AB has both and type O has none. When blood cells from one group enter the body of another group, it's like an uninvited guest crashing the party. The host's immune system, or the bouncer if you will, springs into action to evict these intruders. This immune response can lead to serious complications or even death. But wait, there's more. Each of these blood types can also be either RH positive or RA negative depending on the presence or absence of another antigen called the RH factor. So we have eight basic blood types, A, B, A, B, and O, each either RH positive or RH negative. Now here's where it gets interesting. Type O negative blood, having no A, B, or RH antigens, is a universal donor. It's like the friend who gets along with everyone at the party. On the other hand, type AB positive blood, having all three antigens, is a universal recipient. It's like the friend who welcomes everyone to the party. So, you see, it's not just about the blood type, but also about the antigens present or absent in it. The compatibility of these antigens determines whether a blood transfusion is safe or not. Compatibility is key in blood transfusion, but what about in tissue and organ transplantation? Let's dive into that next. Blood transfusion is just the tip of the iceberg. When we dive deeper, we discover the role of blood types in tissue and organ transplantation. Imagine an organ or tissue transplantation as a complex dance, where the donor and the recipient must be perfectly in sync. The music that orchestrates this dance? Blood types. You see, each blood type has specific markers, known as antigens and antibodies. 
These markers are like little flags on the surface of our cells, shouting out to the immune system, Hey, I belong here! Now, if an organ from a donor with a different blood type is transplanted into a recipient, the recipient's immune system sees these foreign flags and attacks. This response, known as organ rejection, can be life-threatening. Therefore, matching blood types between donor and recipient is critical to ensure a successful transplantation. But the story doesn't end here. We also have to consider a process known as cross-matching. This is the final compatibility test before transplantation. In cross-matching, the recipient's serum, which contains their antibodies, is mixed with the donor's cells. If the recipient's antibodies react with the donor's cells, it's a no-go for transplantation. So why is this so important? Because even if the blood types match, the recipient might still have specific antibodies that could react with the donor's cells. This could be due to previous transplants, blood transfusions or pregnancies where the immune system might have been exposed to foreign antigens. Therefore, cross-matching is an essential step in ensuring that the recipient's immune system will not attack the transplanted organ. It's like a final green light for the complex dance of transplantation to begin. In the grand scheme of things, understanding our blood types and their compatibility is not just about knowing who we can donate blood to or receive blood from. It's about life-altering medical procedures like organ transplantation. Indeed, our blood types can be a matter of life and death in the context of medical procedures. So, let's recap what we've learned today about blood types and their significance in medical procedures. We've explored the four main blood types, A, B, AB, and O. Each of these blood types has unique antigens, substances that trigger an immune response, on the surface of their red blood cells. Type A has A antigens, type B has B antigens, type AB has both, and type O has none. In the compatibility conundrum, we've delved into the world of blood transfusion. The golden rule is simple, like goes with like. Type A can donate to A and AB, type B can donate to B and AB, type AB can donate to AB, and type O being the universal donor, can donate to all. On the flip side, type A can receive from A and O, type B can receive from B and O, type AB, the universal recipient, can receive from all, and type O can receive only from O. But the story doesn't end there. We've also uncovered the implications of blood types in tissue and organ transplantation. Unlike blood transfusion, organ transplant compatibility is not solely determined by blood type. Factors such as the health of the donor organ, the size match between donor and recipient, and the recipient's overall health also play crucial roles. However, blood type compatibility remains a fundamental consideration. Remember, organ transplantation is a complex procedure where the recipient's immune system can reject the organ. This is why matching blood types between donor and recipient can reduce the risk of rejection. Understanding our blood types is not just about knowing who we can donate to or receive from. It's about appreciating the intricate workings of our body and its implications in medicine. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep appreciating the marvel that is the human body. But for now, that's all we have for you. Subscribe for more.